Hey guys, we're Renetti for here with another action figure review, and this time it's gonna be on the Spider-Man Marvel Legends Marvel's Rhino Build a Figure Collection Infinite Series, of course. This is Savage Force. This is Chameleon, Marvel's Chameleon action figure. Uh, it looks cool. This one brings, in my opinion, one of the most accessories in the wave. I'm excited for this one. I like the suited body. This seems to be taking the suited body from Coulson. Uh, it looks the same to me. Now he comes with three heads, which is cool. Comes with the left arm of Rhino, a gun, actually multiple guns. So I'm very excited to crack this one open. He looks interesting indeed. Uh, here's the side. There is the back. This is the running change for Craven, which I did review. Check that one out. On the back, it says professional criminals for sale to the highest bidder. These half brothers have made treachery a family tradition. Uh, very awesome. Let's crack Chameleon open and see what we got. Here we have a good look at Chameleon out of the package. He looks very cool. I really like uh, the suited body that Hasbro has made. Looks very nice and the articulation is pretty decent. Chameleon's quite the interesting character. He, dis he disguises himself as other people, so he's quite tricky. Uh, anyways, this figure comes with a couple accessories. One is this Thompson gun, which I haven't seen since Captain America figure release of the first Avenger movie. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the same gun that he came with, but anyways, let's take a closer look at the accessories of Chameleon. So here's the alternate head of Chameleon along with, here's the second one, his mustache came out kind of bad. Uh, of course we know John Jonah Jameson's here from Spider-Man, uh, that Hitler mustache came out a little awkward on, on it, but he is talking, he is kind of yelling, so I mean, I guess it makes sense if that was their intention. Uh, it comes with this badass gun right here, and what's really cool is that this comes with a. Uh, you can remove the the um, you remove the magazine, and that's cool. I haven't seen that type of thing in on Hasbro Marvel Leg Legends in quite some time. Uh, the fact that you can remove the magazine that looks freaking awesome. Uh, that just opens possibilities for great uh, ACBA shots with someone trying to reload or something in my opinion. You can actually see the bullets. I wish they would color the bullets, not just have it black. Uh, but of course, Hasbro never goes the extra mile, but I do uh, tip my hat off for them doing this right here. I don't know if, we, if we've seen this gun before. I haven't. Uh, also, it comes with this very plain, poorly painted gun pistol right here. And of course, the gun that Chameleon is holding right now is the Thompson gun. And last but not least, he comes with the final piece that I need for my Rhino is the left arm. Uh, so stay tuned for my next review, it's going to be the build the figure Rhino, very excited. So going on to the articulation of the figure, pretty much the same as Coulson, here we got left and right on the head, up and down on that ball jointed hinge, which is great, forward and back on the arm, in and out, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, uh, hinge swivel on the wrist, we do have an ab crunch that clicks, uh, waist swivel, T-joint on the leg, so forward and back, in and out, thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Uh, we have the ankle pivot, I believe, yep, ankle pivot, ankle rocker, with a hinge on the ankles. And that concludes the articulation for the figure, really good for a suited body. So here we can take a look at all the heads on the body itself and how they look. And then there is this head right here, and this one looks cool. I like how this one comes out with him yelling. And of course we had the chameleon masked head that we've seen already. So that concludes my review on Marvel's Chameleon. Uh, figure from, of course, the Rhino build a figure wave of Spider-Man, uh, Marvel Legends, very cool figure, it's probably one of the most sought after ones in the wave, uh, he's, he's really nice, I love how you can have the options of the three heads and all the guns that he comes with, this is really cool, a uh, really nice figure in the suited body, could be used for a Tony Stark or a, a Bruce Banner or, you know, even a Bruce Wayne if you want to go to DC, but... Suited body is always cool for goons. Um, anyways, that is the review on Chameleon. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for my Build a Figure Rhino review coming up after this one. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You guys would like. You guys have a great day. Bye. That's crispy.